pick of Vitality. There's a fast lower play as well. There's a player in mid waiting for this exact push. And Zai Wu, he's doubled down. This is a man to be terrified Ooh. of on a good day. Not so much out of the service. Rather lovely guy. Not one from many words, but here we go. Glaive is going to put all the pressure on these B doors. And with that, P250 takes down Masuda. And that does just leave Apex to try to defend the bottom, uh, excuse me, the bomb site of B's honor. However, RPK with a shot there through the door is going to help things a little bit. Glaive really stuck out here on his lonesome at the scaffold. Good for one on Zaiwu, but RPK cleans it up with two kills of his own in the round. Stralis. Coming in for the kill, Mizuta gets one. First blood, but flashed out, still here, and with support from Apex. Should be able to trade, but just shoots him through smokes. That's ridiculous. Stralis are inside of the B-bomb site, and with a smoke down in the door, there's no one for Vitality that can. Oh, and Device might be about to catch the timing out into mid, and that should be Zaiwu dealt with. RPK doesn't even go any further than this. He just tries to hold on into this, uh, into this following round. That's all it ever will be. Apex now having a look at the double doors and they line up for him. Oh, he's almost oh. onto a third. <laughs> and he does get a third. All right. As he turns back around, just enough bullets left to finish off that kill. That strikes all over the map. And the disc is firing off into the pit. He gets one, but double setup from Shocks will trade it right now. So only one B max. Mizuta, oh, he's not going to be able to do much. Yeah, but Zaiwu will. He's going to pick it up right there. 2v3, actually. I'm just going to have to go through the tweets here and find it. All right. I'm not going to retweet it. I'm not going to draw that for 15 seconds here. Vitality's still got to go for it. And now they start to come through. The bomb's already half taken. Magist is lining up kill after kill. Glaive as well will join the fray. And Zaiwu has got to run. Watching. And uh, they know where Vitality are coming from. You want to condition your opponent. A lot of games like this, you're going to have a plan coming into it. But right now, the plan is disrupted for Astralis. A full five man stack on the site, and they will make quick work of it. Great trading for Astralis. Anyway, device out quick with his AWP. He's going to go straight for the mid doors. There's no S in wow. sight for him. He's going to be W all the way. Device knows he can run outdoors and kill, knowing there's no mid player because there's a triple, triple A setup. So good read, good information, and a good B rush for Astralis. They will take two dinks. They will also take two kills. So it's worth its weight in gold. Device trying to cut off the rotate. Does fall, but Glaive is going to find a trade onto RPK. So they don't know exactly where he is. And oh, missed shot. That should be him dead. Can't hit them all, apparently. It's a site. We're just going to try and get the bomb ready to go down. It makes Molly, though, and RPK finding the first from Gandalf. Traded quickly. Apex damage, but damage will not be converted. And there's no HE on him to finish off the job. It's is so low. Glaive looking for a kill. Simex has uh, finished off the kill on CT spawn. Shocks on the catwalk. Both very low inside the site, the Astralis players. Oh, and Shocks has almost got the position needed. He's on three, and he might even cement all four, but no, not quite. Glaive does deal with him. And to mid, and it might be a fast mid to be from Astralis. Yeah, fast attempt, but Apex denies it immediately. He is alone, and he has to put up more. Only one. Still could be enough, but the bomb has been lost. Still with 30 seconds left on the clock. I don't think the bomb's been tapped yet. And RPK, just on his investigation, has netted him nice... Nice little shot in the side there from Glaive. Now, Shocks could win this round. He comes to the window, finds the first one to Dupree. That's going to create an awkward situation. Glaive has to tuck in here to the bomb box. Shocks just playing around. Coin with the window oh, will not wait. be ready for Glaive to peek the door. Oh, you know, I've achieved everything I want to achieve. I don't think that's the case for Kierby, but mm. I think a lot of people would would say that. Maybe, you know, the old Gambit roster is an example. But either way, we're into the action. And Astralis are into the B-bomb site. They realize Apex crept through the door, but I think that noise did get heard by the man inside of the site that was Glaive. And his big ears, and even bigger brain. And he can transpire that information over to his team. Device dropped in middle. 11-3, and they have ran away with this first half on the map pick of Vitality. It's the last round of the half. So, Astralis, mm. they do do some damage, but they do lose a player in the form of Device. Not getting flashed up catwalk, taking dry fights. Now, I'm sure Astralis, they're feeling confident. It is 11. Apex is going to look to play outside of the site here, and with RPK pushed up on catwalk, he's got a lot of information, what? and also a lot of friends that he didn't want to hang around. So, this has not gone well for Vitality. Yeah, that grenade goes right past Magist and knocks him from 11 to 6. He is somehow still standing, and the second man, oh, man. is not. Apex is going to get blanched. Stop anything here. But the shooter can. Coming in for the catwalk flank and denying the bomb plant. There's still time for Astralis, but a man stuck in the site with low HP will be finished off. The bomb uh, actually dropped off. Before they have any idea.
but he doesn't know where they are. What? Well, this oh. is going to be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Well it's a little bit of a split here from Vitaly. They split both catwalk and long device, only good for one. Masuda there to get the trade after Zaiwu falls. And Zipex left in the sight all on his lonesome. Being shot at from multiple angles. That's going to be a bomb plan. Look at Glaive. He's already up elbow. He's gotten all the way into this site. They're oh. not going to expect that. One tap on Masuda. <laughs> That's going to even up the score a little bit here as they look to retake and get this defuse. Yeah, sweatily holding Crouch was Mizuta until finally he gets checked. Glaive oh. clears every corner. No matter where you hide, you can't hide from Glaive. Chops can fight back, though. And RPK dropped as well. Leaves the aforementioned man in a one-on-two. Both CTs on the site. Headshot angle is good for Shocks. And the jumping Glock looking for a little bit more. Yet to tap the ball. Dupree's so low, he's gonna try and stick it, All right. and Shocks will burst in midair. Ooh, there's a tag, already softening them up. The more he can find, the better it is for Astralis, as these pistols can finish off the job. I say pistols, three of the guns are scouts, and they are coming to life on the A site. More and more damage per second. Oh dear, everywhere you turn, there is a scoped rifle looking your way, and Shocks only a little health left. He has found a second kill. Player coming up, Catwalk, he's gonna fake out the bomb. Looking for the fight, he got it! Magisk is dead, Shocks in a one-on-one. -on -one. He knows that he's close and he's got the damage as well. Oh dear. Oh dear, indeed. Dupree on the deke. 10 seconds and shocks. He has got to fake the pump, but instead Dupree comes around wide. And Device, he's got a little gap in the smoke thrown down by Vitality and abused by Device. Two kills from it. It's going to be a third for Glaive as he drops another with a scout. The bomb has been lost, but kills have been found for Vitality. And remember, this is only an eco. They are forced into it, hoping for a little bit more than just two kills, though. Unfortunately, they will not get a choice, a say in the matter. It's Astralis running wild, pushed towards the top of middle. And even with Dupree supporting lower, long side device as well. So nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, but the Butchers. And, well... Oh, he's gonna get it at some point. He's gonna get the peak he's been waiting oh, for, and he waits goodness. all around. Brax and delays this cross at the crossroads. Oh, Lots of damage done no. from Zipex and Side Dupree. And they left all the Vitality were on three in the retake. Our Astralis wow. Magis spots a man yeah. up on the boost. Isn't ready for shocks. He's hiding out at Gandalf, and now he tries to pincer on in with the rest of the gang. Zywu is shut down, but shocks continuing to put up numbers, continuing oh. to be a nuisance. Finally, they deal with Apex, but shocks is on for the ace. A so 1v2, and he oh. does just tap down oh. Dupree, makes it look almost too easy. Shocks damage done. Glaive tapping the bomb. He does. Doesn't have a kit oh and Shox not able to ace it for the victory, but there's no time for the defuse. Magic scuffed down in the pit. And with this MP9, he looks to get in the face of Team Vitality. He best shot straight away. Apex trying to get a handle back on the situation, but that's just not happening. And this leaves Zywu and RPK now. Two on four mm. as Zywu puts up a frag over in mid, but he is all alone. His team have been stripped away from him, armed with only a scout. And to make matters worse, flanking down into the lower tunnels. Oh, Zai Wu! Hell of a uh, shot to land! As nice as it was, oh, it doesn't dear. remedy that 15th on the board. Device is holding for the fast play. And now on the back of seeing that, Astralis have read that this is going to be the B play. The nades have found so much damage, and Dupree looks to get this one put to bed. There it is. Device Easy. actually gets it through the double door. And Astralis take dust two in a resounding fashion. They send very, very lucky to be alive, and he's got to appreciate that, because his teammates, oh, oh, oh. they don't get quite as lucky. Yeah, quick kill from Device. Shocks is trapped out on a limb, and now he's got no limbs left as Device takes them off. Still clearing the vents, so they don't know that all three players are down in the bomb site just yet. And Zylu finally dealt with, Ooh. now leaves all of this on Supus, and that did bait RPK to move back into the bomb site. Even though he gets the kill, there's no round to be found on the back of it. Forced in preemptive rotation from Shocks down towards the B side of the map. There's that re-aggression we were, we were kind of talking about. It comes through with Zywoo and Mas As this bomb plant comes in, RPK gets deleted. Shocks is put down shortly after, and it is a fast stuck in that loop.
for what can sometimes feel like an eternity. And so they try and dig themselves out of it now. Trades go evenly with Magis dealing with a man over here towards outside. Masuta now trying to move into position. And Magis was very, very far. Smoke, a hell smoke, a main smoke. And one that landed on top of the blue box to cut off a view to Silo. Flank this oh. player lower. But RPK gives up a kill. And now Astralis, they've got knowledge on one more of these dudes down B. They're going to try and find him. I was going to find something for himself. It's Deve. Now leaves us in a 2v2. Can appreciate each and every single frag more as we've turned off X-Ray for the time being. Zip X, 1v2. Wow. And he never saw it coming. And he kind of confirm these uh, these suspicions that Team Vitality had. And if he gets a couple of kills, then maybe there was a chance that that bomb plant never even comes in. Now, it is a guarantee. They get the bomb planted, and it's only Masuta left, returning from his venture into the lobby, looking for a one-on-three that just isn't going to happen. Team Astralis, they'll get themselves a sick a reinvestment from Vitality. And Astralis, they try and switch the pace up, but it's into RPK. And this man is immovable as he shuts down three on the entry. Glaive gets caught by Masuta aggressing into the lobby and in the blink of an eye this has left Device all alone in a 1v5 clutch. This is a damn near impossible round. Does manage to deal with shots. And another. Ooh. And another Device See with three. Later. But there is Zaiwu ready and waiting. Oh. On the outside, smokes the flash is good. Oh dear, it's a slow call for shocks. He won't check the corner, and device gets the kill. That's excellent stuff towards the door. And zaiwu has got to really do some heavy lifting. That's a good start, but he gets caught trying to escape. And Dupree will tag him down. He will be able to get out of position and rescope up in the garage. Flash while doing so. Oh, dude, oh, device, oh, yeah. So close. Second time around, it's his. Dance out here around this smoke. Gonna find Dupree in the process. That leaves just Masuda. Molly, he's got two flashes. He's also got a headshot there on the Magist to start this retake. What's out this player from behind the silo? That's what he was waiting on. He wanted to know where that second player was. Dumping that Molotov. Back sight, Zipex, too quick on the draw. And Astralis, they try and change the pace of the game. They get a man down through the vents, but it isn't quite the cost. Glaive goes down in amongst it all, and Zywoo has gone more aggressive towards outside. Dupree, well, he's opened up at B. A device has now bested Zywoo. Dupree gets himself another. This round is sloppy in a two-on-four. Left looking for duels that, while they do come in, are not in favor of Team Vitality. Oh. And that's horrid, man. You think you're going to get to hold... And Astralis, back into a four-on-four. Okay. <laughs> Dupree deals with RPK. Masuda has aggressed into the lobby, and he's done this a hell of a lot here on this CT side. And usually, it's a pretty good result. You know, at the very, very least, affording rotations to the rest of his team. But in this round, there's no rotations. There's no kills found from the lurk. Instead, and then playing ahead of it, Stralis running with their knives out. Oh, the switch to the last second. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I mean. That Owned. Owned, yeah. They've actually pwned that of Vitality so far. Ooh. Device doesn't even stop. Man, it, it looks like he's like on rails. Like, it, it looks like he's just... Was that his, like, cologne ad? <laughs> like, like... Deve, more like Suave. Oh, so clean. So... Yeah, I mean, they know where Apex is. It's a matter of time. <laughs> and they're like, they're saying at this point, like, what are you going to do, save? Like, <laughs> they just wait and they get the kill 13 to 2. No, I, yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I'm just joking around. This is, uh, this is sick because it forces all of Astralis just kind of into all these horrible angles all across the map. And as a result, Team Vitality, oh, they get every kill, and including that lovely little jump. Yeah, but no, you're you're right, Harry. Yeah, like that's a good it's a good idea for Vitality. Maybe it's not their game plan they had initially. Even if it is, right? Even if they just wanted to show the bomb B. Yeah, now they exploded through main oh. Dupree, not able to answer the call. He does get one, and Device is tagged off yeah. and now finished off Zaiwu. Deliver a lot here on this main push. He gets spotted and actually does nothing. RPK alone, one on three. We've been bigging him up, and his A side holds all game long, but this one is too much to ask of him. Left to his own here in the ramp room. He's about to get a lot of unwanted company in the form of Ooh. Vitality. He's going to get caught off guard. Stowed a Molotov, but Mizuta's going to be there quickly with a Deagle. And that's going to cause a drop here for the rest of the Astralis players. Now, a little bit weary that someone could come down secret. Dupree, just outside of the scope of vision and the timing. And, you know, whatever goes around them, even if it's pistols or UMPs, it's still a really good situation for Astralis. We know that... Oh, 
dear. Shocks finished off by the Deagle as well. Doesn't even get oh, a chance. And the bomb has been dropped by Glaive. He tries to escape. He could not. Device gets one before. Uh, well, before he backs out, I guess. He's down to eight. He's not going to be re peeking after that one, you would think. But he seems keen for the kills. RBK trying to fight back. Wow. The grenade is timed so well with the shots from Zipex. And he is going to finish off the job. Device gone eventually. After the time either. Doesn't want that. Astralis has just backed up. I love this. They're going to try and kill him after time. The Dupree has gone down as Zipnix will just take the round instead of risk things. And, and uh, like team building routine, right? And, you know, they're keeping us to our routine as well here at the Pro League by returning us to scheduled programming. Device pushing up outside, deals with two, and now the remaining three. Into the arms of Zipex they go. Masuta gets that trade. They drop down to the B site, but there's actually more players for Astralis here than there are for Team Vitality. They preemptively rotate it down. They send one of them back up the bench just to make sure. Oh, and no. that bomb planter gets caught. Apex now all alone has to deliver up one hell of a 1v4. Maybe once to keep the dream alive for Vitality. And while he does deal with the first man, he is pinned on him. They <laughs> mop him up. The defuse is going to come through. And Astralis, they will take this series here on Nuke. 16 to 5. Even more convincing.